go away. <laughs> oh, there's a sniper. Oh, look. That's the game. Hello, YouTube. Um, I've just been playing this game called uh, Noida pretty, uh, uh, pretty regularly. It's like an it's like this sort of magical action roguelike uh, game. You can combine different spells together. You can use them, and it's been pretty fun. So I'm just gonna click new game here. Yeah, I've been playing this game for around 22 hours, and I still haven't been in the game yet. So it kind of gives you an idea of the difficulty. Like I, I've I've seen people playing the game for like 300 hours, still haven't been there. So yeah, I, I, yeah, I've been going uh, left here. So there's this aid you can get up on this uh, tree. And it's not overly useful, but it might uh, help because the worm might attack the other enemies. You just claw up this tree here. There's this egg up here you can get. Yeah, so I can just throw this egg and just spawn a worm whenever I want. This is a buff that uh, like times the amount of gold you get by a three, but... Um, it curses the ground below you, so I, that's why I don't take that usually. You can kick stuff, and you, you can see the physics of the uh, game as well. <coughs> yeah, so that's that's something I've been doing recently. Yeah, so I have uh, the game starts you out with two basic wands. The first wand you get is basically, basically like your default projectile wands and the second wand you get is usually either a fire spell or something that causes an explosion so I, I got the bombs this time just the down there. Yeah, so yeah the air feels hot so sometimes like randomly um, the levels will have just random modifiers on them I, I've gone on the one where, um, God, these guys are. Yeah, I've gone the one where it just spawns water everywhere in the mines. Um, apparently, th this is a new one I haven't really encountered yet. Yeah, the, those sparks mean that there's an item there. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I might. I'll see if there's a way around. I'm gonna save my bombs. Uh, firm on potion, yeah, so that makes ally that, that makes the enemies like fight for you. It's like a charm. And just see if there's a way around here. Yeah, this this first level is really easy. It's it's kinda boring actually. Like it, it the game gets much better I think later on in the levels, but every single time you have to like, go through the mines and just collect the uh, certain wands and things like that. Yeah, yeah, these these guys die in like one or two shots, and this this isn't a really this isn't a really powerful spell. No, I'm gonna go all the way to the right because there is a lava lake uh, on this floor that uh, you can go to, and there is a max HP pickup you can get, but uh, a boss spawn so you have to avoid. So I'm gonna see if I can do that now. And See what that is. That's a fire potion that might be useful. Kill this one first. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so this is the uh, this is the other biome, like a fire biome. You can explore. This is like a bit of lore. Um, I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna bother reading it. Use the water potion to create like a bridge or across here. Yeah, so I'm across there now, and then there's there's this uh, dry bridge you, you go across, and just a pick up at the end of this. Yeah, you can just full up uh, potions just by staying in the liquid and just have them equipped. 
And as long as I don't die to this boss, I should be should be good to go here. I I should be attacking it. No. Yep, so I'm fine here. So I have an extra like plus uh, 20 HP for the rest of the run. I don't really know how to use these potions that effectively. Like I, I know you can combine them in certain ways. So I, I just don't know all of the uh, combinations yet. Uh, what's the mess? Uh, whiskey. Okay. Obviously you can light it up, but my my I might have other properties aside from. The, the the plus oil does the exact same thing as uh, what whiskey does, and I'm assuming you can you can combine a whiskey with something. It's just I I don't know what that something is. Oh, this this guy is kind of insanely difficult, so I have to be careful. I think you pour water on him to kill him instantly. Let's see if we can do that. Probably not gonna work. I'll have to go around and see if we can get this guy from the side. Oh, yeah, I'm on fire. That's why I have the water potion to put myself out instantly. And the boss is right there, apparently. Okay. Okay, that normally doesn't happen where the boss just aggros. Oh god, okay. Yeah, we have to we have to get going. <laughs> this can this be run this? Yeah, so I'm not gonna have enough money to buy anything. I just didn't want to stay there where the boss can just insta kill me. Can't buy any of any of the wands. Uh this this wand has really good stats to put a basic spell in because I mean you can look at the stats there, you have Cast delay point uh, ten seconds, recharge time of point ten seconds. So you can compare this speed of that, and this is like a machine gun blast. So that's typically what I do. Like basically, basically each time I come down to the holy man once, it's, I usually just inst instantly like replace this bell. Um. Yeah, this is good because I can I can change the spells I have on the fly. No, normally you can't do that. You have to you have to be in the mountain first before you can change spells. Um, but with this, you can just change it anytime you want, which is pretty useful. Um, I might pick that up actually. So I, I just take the spells I get from any wand I see and just put them on, on anything. Kills like that actually give you more gold, but it, it counts as like a trick kill. So like any kill, I think with the environment or um, it, it, if they burn to death or something, it gives it, I think it gives you more gold. But I'm not entirely sure about that. Okay. Just have to explore the, around this level. Uh, unlike the first level, I think this level actually gives out uh, pretty decent wands. At the very least, I can just take the spells out and just. Uh, I don't want something else. I didn't mean to do that. Nice, okay. So that's a health pickup. Just you can sometimes find them at the normal levels. Uh, oh god. Yeah, those normal enemies, like those zombies, can pick up wands that randomly spawn on level as well and can use them. So that can be really annoying sometimes. Oh no. Get this off me. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm just using my water flask to like remove any like poison or any fire that gets on me. I, I'm assuming that's pretty obvious, but yeah. So this is what the guy was using, brings the target closer to you. Uh, that's pretty useless, but the stats on this wand aren't bad. You see the cast delay is 0.18. Charge time, well, I, no, that's actually terrible. I probably won't use that wand very much. I, I, I can go to the temple if I want to, but uh, I'll keep exploring, see what I find. Oh, well, yeah. Good thing I did that. There's another uh, max health there. Yeah, there's something uh, to the left of this wall, looks like. I'll just kick this here. Uh, not not as big of an explosion as, as I was uh, expecting. Fill up my water potion here. Uh, let's see what's on the other side of this. I did not mean to do that, but I guess it works out. Just kind of wasting all my bombs for no reason. Yeah, I have 243 gold. It's not quite enough, really. Um, something up there. It's just I, I I don't really have good spells to clear out the environment with. Yeah, like nor normally in this game, you want to have like a good projectile one, like that, like uh, like that that one there. You want to have something to clear out the environment, and you want to have a couple of other ones just for like utility and stuff like that. It's it's, it's kind of what I found. So so utility like making like a rain cloud or like te like a teleporting one or something like that. Yeah, that thing's pretty menacing. Uh, hopefully I don't die here. No. Okay. Alright, we're good. The boss has been defeated. We have 328 gold, it's still not quite enough. Let's see what I can get here. Uh, it's just that I want to cast Fireball, it's pretty terrible, but I'll take it. I have something to burn the this all this wood with, I guess. Not like it's going to be useful in the later levels, but hey. Just maybe the showcase some of the physics in this game, like, like this is gunpowder, and if you light it up, track us like that. It's pretty satisfying. The, these enemies here are pretty easy. All they do is just run at you. This fly thing just shoots at you. I feel like a lot of this game is just RNG from what wands you guess and like you're you're expected to die like 99 times out of 100 times you play this game but um, if I, I, I can imagine if you get really good 
you can avoid like just getting hit a lot and your chances for a successful run will increase but I still feel like a lot of this is RNG based with the ones you find. a lot of uh, money right now which is nice I might, I might actually just uh, go to the next level for to be gold now I can actually buy stuff now I'll take that spell off this casts five spells at once so that might be useful um that one has pretty decent stats. This is just better than this than this one in every single way. Um, I might buy this one. The other, yeah, the other ones I might buy just for the just for the spells. Um, I'll I'll buy this one because it has really good stats. The dynamite off. This one casts lower, but it has um, it has more mana than the second one I have here. Also, um, it it there's the it doesn't shuffle spells. So like if if a wand doesn't have shuffle on, it means it goes from left to right, and if a wand has shuffle, it means it just picks a spell at random. Uh, might be able to do something with this wand if I have more spells. Uh, I'll I'll see what I can find here. This is pretty cheap. I, I only have 98 bucks. Might as well just buy that. Let's take the spells off. Um, let's see what this is like. Yeah, that's pretty useless. Uh, be better on the first ones. Yeah, that's a lot better. Those slime balls do a ton of damage. They hit for six. Oh, I guess I, they they don't do as much damage as, as I thought they did. Um, yeah, this one casts five spells at once, so obviously I kind of want to put as many spells on on there as possible. But I, I just I I don't have enough spells. I mean. I think I think what I have right now is optimal. Let's just put the diamond on the last one. So I have like, this machine gun blast here, and then I can just spread them with slime. Switch to the first and second one repeatedly. Yeah, this this is where the game starts actually getting hard. A lot of enemies can just one shot you in this level. Have to be careful. Okay, I do not want to fight that thing. Okay, I need to just go away. <laughs> oh, there's a sniper. Oh, look. That's the game. Yep, so I have 14 health and I just got to this uh, zone. So we basically, we want to rush through this section so we can just restore our health. Um, yeah, that way just leads to death. See what the left path has in store. This this run's basically over. Um, these rats. Oh, uh, that's pretty 
it's better than this one in every way. It's just. Yeah, I'll take it, whatever. Doesn't matter, anyways. If it can get to the end, we might have a shot. It's just. Yeah, this. This this run's basically dead. It's uh, it's kind of what happens with this game, honestly. F from what I found, anyways. I have nine health, <laughs> so yeah, it's run's basically over. Yep, there's a sentry gun there. Yep, yep, yep. So that's basically like 99% of the gameplay. I haven't managed to beat the game yet, and I probably never will. So I hope you enjoy watching, and see you next time.